What's up, people? It's your boy, D1 Neo King. Yeah, and I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Another headlight video, right? Wrong. This is officially the headlight video. Because these, these headlights right here, this car belongs to my neighbor. Now, these headlights are officially done. As you can see, this is, this is, we haven't touched these headlights yet. This is weathering. The worst weathering you've ever seen on the headlights, as far as I'm concerned. And they will not pass inspection like this. So, what we're going to do later on, we're going to come out here and hit these headlights off with, with, with the rejuvenate the whole, the whole joint, the whole shebang. But I wanted to get you, let you see what really bad headlights look like before they've even been touched with sandpaper or anything. Nothing has been touched with these headlights. Nothing. This is it. So, once we clean this up, you're going to see brand spanking new headlights. All using the rejuvenate system. That's not even made for cars, but I'm going to tell you, man, things work. Certain things work, man. You gotta try things out. Rejuvenate gonna hook these up. D1, New York King. Headlight repair. Time. What, part, part four? I'm out. Alright, people. The process has begun. As I told you earlier, these headlights was beat from the from the jump. We didn't do anything to them. But now we're working on it. Trying to get this uh this haze off. There's a lot and there is a lot of residual haze and, and, and enamel. What do you call that? Not enamel, paint or I don't know what you call it. Whatever you call it, the, the coating on the uh, lenses prior. Build up. Yeah, it's on there. Scale, so, scale, scale. So she's trying to break that down now. And I'm using just a regular medium emery board for nails. Yeah. To get but, them. But once again, we still use a thousand, two thousand, or four thousand grit <laughs> sandpaper to finish it off. But right now she's trying to use this. As you seen in my last video, when I did mine, I used this item right here to scrape off most of that residual. This is what I use. Remember that? And it got most of it off, but right now she's gonna try this this technique and see if this works for this. And so also that rubbing compound. And she got rubbing compound. So what you're seeing right now is, is the first part of, of, of the of the uh prep. system. The prep system. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing as I did last time, but I just want you to see the headlights before we even got started. And when I break through it, yeah. We'll do so once she breaks through you'll see. Now this, like I said, that's the first hair. She's working on the set on, on, on it right now. You're gonna see now you can see the lens a little bit more. You couldn't see it before. From this angle, maybe you can see. You, you can see it, you can see it. But it's still a lot of work to be done, so I'll hit you back after we got the majority of the work done. But I wanted to show you the beginning, the beginning stages of how to get the, how you keep your lenses clean. Now, you guys, as I said, can use a thousand grit to start it out with. She's using the emery board because that's what she got available, and you can hit it off with that. If and the scale is too heavy for a thousand grit. Okay, so that's too heavy. The scale for a thousand? Yes, a thousand is fine. Yeah. So you need something to break that up. I got you. Or with a thousand, you'll be filing forever. Well, I did a thousand and it worked for me, but I, I mean. Yours wasn't this heavy. Mine wasn't this heavy. This is very heavy. It's a very heavy, very heavy haze on this one. So, you may want to go with a higher grit. All right? Do one of your king. I'll be back with, with the partial finished product. Okay. This, this is what it looks like after intense sandpapering. I mean, these head these headlights were really, really bad. So if you are doing a DIY yourself, you're gonna put a lot of time and energy into doing these, <clears throat> especially if your head your head um, lights look as bad as these did. And we still see on the corner of this piece that's not done. So it's not a quick fix at all. It takes a little time, elbow grease, a lot of elbow grease, and uh, and we're still not done yet. But so far so good. I think if we need to, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, my voice is going out again. Coat these up. They would look awesome, but. You know, we're going to keep on trying to clean them up a little bit without taking too much lens off, okay? So, just let you know, this is not an easy job. It's not a one, two, three job. It's a time-consuming job on, 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 on a really bad lens. On, on a normal lens, <clears throat> with light haze, you can get away with the 1,000 grit, 2,000 grit. With this lens, no, you have to go down to the uh, 80 grit and, 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 and up, 80 and up. Just let you know, all right? And yeah, then you guys move it out. So, D1 New York King, let you know the headlight uh, restoration restoration process is still going. See you in the next video. All right, y'all. As you can see, she's about to hit this up with some rejuvenate on, on this one. The other lens has a lot of work to be done. I have a lot more uh, enamel to scrape off of that lens. There's a lot on it. She's gonna hit this up with the rejuvenate. And let's see what's up. All right. As I said. It's a lot better than what it was. This, these lenses, this lens on this car has been sitting for a while. So, compared to what it looked like before, this lens looks beautiful. 
Now the inside of the lens is, is, is something totally different. I don't know if we can do anything about that. But uh, and that's just the first coat. Yeah, that's the first coat. You gotta do at least three coats. And it's looking good for. Believe me when I tell you, it's looking ten times better than what it was, guys. Three coats go on this. All right. You want you okay? The first coat of rejuvenate on it, guys. Now, like I said to you before, if your headlights are super duper 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 messed up, you're gonna have to put a lot of work into your headlights to get them to pass inspection. So, so far, these headlights look well. But she's not done. She has put another couple of coats on them. But from where they came from, coming from what they came from, that rejuvenate makes your headlights look great. I mean, and it costs you a couple of dollars in sandpaper and some rejuvenate. Seriously. And you can you can pass inspection and, and, and drive fine without buying another pair of headlights at least for another year. So, not done yet. Not the finished product, but just wanted to show you partial. They're clear, and he can pass inspection. You want your king? Check your next one. This is the finished product. Headlights look great. As I said, if you've seen the first the first pictures I a uh, video I have this headlights, they were really 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 bad. But now these headlights awesome so you can you can repair your own headlights guys <clears throat> it takes a little time a little, elbow, little little work little little elbow grease a, a lot of elbow grease could you not and uh you can make your headlights look really good not not brand new but but darn close to it especially if they were really really bad like these were okay so that that rejuvenate works guys check it out check it out it does a good job and mine's are still doing this thing hold on a minute i'll show you <clears throat> Come over to mine. Let me show you mine. That shit that was done before, as you remember. And it's still shining. See? So, rejuvenate. Sandpaper. Do it yourself. Headlights. D1 New York King. I'm out.